Good morning everyone. Today we're talking about low light photography at night. Five tips, no bullshit. It's gonna be quick, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome to a new episode today. I want to share with you five tips for shooting at night because I know it's a little bit difficult when you're shooting outside in the city and it's low light. What do you do? How can you achieve for the best results? Well, let's get started. My tip number five is to observe your environment first and foremost. Even if you don't have a good camera, if you don't have the best gear, it doesn't matter. If you're able to find good sources of light in your city, could be a bus stop, could be a building like that, could be a bank, an ATM, anything that casts a nice light on someone, then you can use it for great portraits or simply to light up the scene of someone passing by. There was this girl passing by in a side street in Japan and I waited until she passed in front of that light from the 7-Eleven to get the shot. So that's a quick tip, but I think it's gonna change your photography if you apply it. Let's go. Tip number four, four is going to be shoot as wide as possible. That might seem obvious, but it's something super important to remember. When you're gonna shoot wide aperture, you're going to have a lot more light get into your lens, which means you can lower your ISO, you are gonna have less noise in your shots, it's gonna look better, and you're gonna have more bokeh. So you only have advantages doing that, and if your lens doesn't go to 1.8 or 2.8, well, try with 3.5 on most lens and see how it looks. But if you can invest in a 51.8, I highly recommend it. It's gonna change your life. All right, tip number three, guys. It's freezing, so we're gonna be fast. Is to drag your shutter speed. Make it as low as possible. But remember, if you have to freeze the subject, make sure you can. I will sacrifice noise over sharpness every single day just to make sure my subjects are frozen. So when I shoot at night, I'm usually around 180th of a second. And if people are moving really fast, I'm gonna be around 125th. And whenever possible, I'm gonna go down to 140th, 125th, if people are not moving or if I have scenes that are very, very still. And if I wanna do light trails, obviously, we're gonna go way below. But that's a quick tip. Try to limit your shutter speed as much as you can and train, really train on being super still when you take those shots. Tip number two, guys. Oh yeah, we're getting there is bring stuff as close as possible to your lens. The reason is when I'm super close to you, you're gonna have an amazing bokeh in the background. So if you're shooting portraits, it's gonna look dope. If you're shooting objects, it's the same. And you can really, really play with that. I think bokeh is something that is universally beautiful and that everyone loves. So if you can get a little bit closer this time, or when you're shooting, you're gonna love it. It's super simple, super easy to do. And even if you have a lens that only up into 5.6, I'm telling you, if you bring it that close, it is going to look dope. And now guys, tip number one is simply stop that video, exit YouTube, close your laptop, close your smartphone, and get out there and shoot. I'm being serious, I wanted to keep that super short and concise. I wanted you, concise, can you, does that work in English, concise? Yeah, so it's a word. Guys, I wanted to keep it super compact. Please get out there and shoot. No video will ever replace that and grab the night photography cheat sheet that I put down in the description. It's free, you're gonna enjoy it. Drop it on your phone and when you forget something in the street, use it. Now, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Practice, 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 practice. Kava is the gift, bro. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> Welcome to the Tokyo subway. Alex is our guide. Alex, what direction are we going? The wrong way. The wrong way? Yeah, we got on the wrong wrong side. We're riding one stop and then changing over to the other. Is your girlfriend? Yes. Yes? Yes, we just met. <laughs> Alright, so we're shooting a long exposures of boat right now. Uh, it's a little bit boring if I have to be honest, but it's like fishing, you know? There's different types of fishing. I'm the guy who will like literally walk through the rivers to fish. But there are people who like to take a tent and put a line and just wait for hours. So that's what we're doing right now. It's kind of nice too because you can drink beer, eat bananas, eat sweet potatoes. There's lots you can do while you wait for thousands of boats to pass by. Um, when you could just duplicate them on Photoshop. I'm just saying. That's cheating. I'm just saying. 